Priests of the parish are not available today, so we gather to give praise to God and to ask our God to bless and guide us. To do this, we celebrate a communion service with the theme, Lord of Creation, which includes a liturgy of the word. And so we begin. You're most welcome to this communion service this evening, so good evening, everyone. And today we celebrate the feast day of the Solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. And the Lord said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to you to do your will. This is the feast day which commemorates the visit of the Archangel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary, announcing that she was to conceive and give birth to a child and call him Jesus. Termed as solemnity, this is a high-ranking feast day in the church. And what we pray for in this special feast is that we put our faith totally in God and to live our lives as servants of the Lord. Do not be afraid. For you have won God's favour. Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And as we enter into the mystery of our great God's love, let us call to mind our sins against God and against one another. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Lord our God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us home at last to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself, coming either from the depths of Sheol or from the heights above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David. Are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of my God too? 
The Lord himself, therefore, will give you a sign. It is this. The maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son, whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. The response to the responsorial psalm is, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. In the scroll of the books it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law and in the depth of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed. You know it, O Lord. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. Second reading, a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Bull's blood and goat's blood are useless for taking away sins. And this is what Christ said on coming into the world. You who wanted no sacrifice or oblation prepared a body for me. You took no pleasure in holocausts or sacrifices for sin. Then I said, just as I was commanded in the scroll of the book, God, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. Notice that he says first, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered. That is the sacrifices, the oblations, the holocausts, and the sacrifices for sin. And you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, here I am. I am coming to obey your will. He is abolishing the first, sought to replace it with the second. And this will was for us to be made holy by the offering of his body made once and for all by Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Gospel acclamation. The word was made flesh, he lived among us, and we saw his glory. Glory to you, O Christ, you are the word of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favoured. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about since I am a virgin? 
the Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Know this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son, and she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. My sisters and brothers, we recall today with great joy the sacred moment when graced by the Holy Spirit, Mary accepted her unique vocation in God's plan for all men and women and conceived in her womb God's only Son, the Saviour of the world. May our prayers, united in the sacrifice of Jesus, bear fruit in our lives. We pray for the Church, that by her acceptance of the will of the Father, Jesus may be conceived in the hearts and minds of all peoples. Lord, hear us. For those elected to govern the nations of this world, that as they make their decisions for the welfare of their people, they may, like Mary, listen attentively to the word of God and allow themselves to be guided by it. Lord, hear us. We pray for our expectant mothers that they may accept the children they carry with love and joy. Lord, hear us. We remember all women that they may see in God's graciousness to Mary the dignity of womanhood and motherhood. Lord, hear us. And for all here present, that as we try to follow Mary's example, we may be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear us. And we pray for our deceased. Today, Marcelina da Silva Boavida, Mont's Mind, Thomas Vincent Lavery, Ellen Lappin, Nancy Hayburn, John McAlinden, Pat Shevlin, Robert Walker, Mary McLaughlin, Grace McCann, Martin Hughes, Peggy Hendren, and Mary Muldoon. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and the Jewish and the woman, the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. God our Father, you chose Mary to be the mother of your son and graced her with gifts given to no one else. In our days you call us to and grace us. May we, through the intercession of Mary, respond to your call to bring Jesus into the lives of all people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And we now pray the prayer of the community. God of earth and sea and sky, of snow-capped mountains and storm-tossed ocean waves, God of lightning and soft spring rain, God of star-strewn galaxies and the still, small voice in our inmost heart, God of mercy and never-failing love, you are the God and Abba of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so with all the angels and the saints, 
we praise and worship you as we say it together. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, most holy Lord, for the gifts of life and love and laughter, for time to grow and strength to do. We thank you for all the good things of this earth and for the chance to know and love you through Jesus, our Lord. We remember Jesus, our friend and brother. We remember how he loved us to the end. We remember how on the night before he died, he called his friends together for a final meal. As he did then, so he does now. He opens his heart to them and to us. He gives himself totally for them and for us in word and sacrament, through suffering and death and by rising from the dead, to live with you, great God, as Lord of all. So we rejoice in the wonder of this love, Jesus' love, your love, poured out for each of us. And we offer our own stumbling yet joyful thanks for this great gift to us of your beloved one. We offer as well our lives, our hearts, our very selves, as we proclaim together. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Pour out your spirit upon us, Lord, upon us and our families, upon our friends and those we know and love, upon Francis and Eamon and all the leaders of our church and our world, and upon all who suffer and all who have died, and we think especially of the people in Ukraine, and upon all who are lost in the darkness of sin. Pour out your spirit upon us, Lord, your rescuing, reclaiming, renewing spirit, joining us together in your community of love. Hand touching hand, heart linked to heart, each person connected with each person in generous service to one another, the very bonding of Christ's love. Keep all who share in the bond of Christ united in truth and love, and make of us a community of life-giving power, a sign to all people of your compassionate care. We make our prayer in and through the heart and spirit of Christ, so that through Christ and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now confident of the life-giving spirit of our God, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord of creation and God of life, you are with us in spirit and in truth. And may this communion bring us growth and give you glory in and through our gracious Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Love what is good and speak only what is true. Support the weak, care for the hurting, strive for peace with all people, and praise God always with your heart. And may the God of creation bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for coming and joining in with this communion service, and a very good evening. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.